Hello, welcome to Mr. Money. In this video, we are going to show you how to copy videos from Chinese apps and re-upload them to YouTube Shorts so that you can earn $10,000 per month. The application we are going to use to find our videos is called Xiao Hong Shu. I'm going to type this in search now so that you can also see the spelling. It's X I A O H O, and you can see it in the search results right here. N G S H U Xiao Hong Shu. Search for this application. This is where we're going to find our videos. You can see the application, it looks like this. This is the logo for the Xiao Hong Shu app. Get the app, download it to your phone, and then we'll move on to the next step. Once it's downloaded, open the application. In case you cannot find this app, you might want to use a VPN on your mobile device. Let's quickly take you through the sign up process. Once you've had a text message sent to your phone with your code, enter that code, and then it will bring you to this page. Do note, if your mobile phone is currently set to do not disturb, you might not get the notification of the text message that's sent through during your sign up process. You will log in to begin the application. That is the sign up process. This might seem jarring to somebody who's new to this app because usually you have to go through a very lengthy or sometimes tedious sign up process with these applications. Here you log in, then you're automatically registered. I'm going to choose my gender and now enter my age. Choose your age. So I'm just going to swipe for my age. I am currently 33 years old. Here's the important part. We're going to use videos of animals, cute animals, pets, and more. When you're selecting your interest, it will decide what type of videos are displayed to you inside of the application. So choose something to do with animals because this is what we're going to use in this example. You can see we have an option for pets. I'm going to select pets. I'm also going to find animals. Animals also available. One of the things that makes pets and animals videos very tantalizing to the viewer or very interesting to a viewer is usually pets can be very funny or provide another context to the human or animal experience that you can relate to. That primal instinct of animals is quite funny to watch because you as a human being know how that animal feels. The animal can't explain it, but you can with captions and words. This translates to any language. So as well as this, I'm also going to select funny. It says you can select up to four interest. Another medium that can help you communicate across different languages and break those barriers is gaming. But remember, not all games are available in every territory. Once you've made your selection, including those two animal interests, select start exploring. Here is asking if the app is allowed to track you across different apps and websites that you're using on your mobile device. I'm going to ask the app not to track. Now I can swipe up for more. And there are a variety of videos that I can now find, animals and more, including this AI looking Gengar Pokemon. Now let's find a funny animal that we are going to use. Let's have a look at Little Bunny. What's interesting about this video is it has English captions. We're going to choose two videos, one with captions and one without. This is a video that I've found and I want to use this for my YouTube short. Press the icon in the top right hand corner of the application, the arrow pointing out of the box. This means share. From this menu, you can scroll through and you can see copy link. Select copy link. This link has now been copied to the clipboard of your mobile phone. You can paste this into a document or a text message or in a message to yourself on social media, just in case you want to use another device for the next step. If not, follow along accordingly without having to move off your mobile device. After scrolling through the application, I found more videos that I want to use, including this one right here, which has a caption that appears on screen. I'm going to show you how to remove and even translate this caption. First, let's get that share link by pressing on the share icon in the top right hand corner of the screen and then copying the link. Once that's copied to your clipboard, let me show you a place where you can save your link just in case you're unsure of what the link looks like. By opening a text message and holding your press, you can paste your link. The share link 
is what appears after the HTTP forward slash forward slash XH slink.com and then you have your unique end of your url link for that specific video that's the link for that video which we've just found also keep in mind if you want your video to be successful when you're repurposing it for youtube shorts make sure it originally has over 100,000 views and some engagement those likes and comments are what you're looking for when you're using this method so now we're on to the next step downloading the video that you found in the application. One thing I advise that you do is copy and paste your link into the browser to have a look to see if it's the correct video. This is the one that I want to use in this example. I'm gonna download this video right now. This is when you visit this website right here, the Xiaohong Shu Video Downloader. Paste your link into the search bar with no sign up and you can submit your link and download that video right now. You can see once you've submitted your link, you actually have a few options. The video and image title is provided. You also have the video, which you can download straight away and an image download. So you can download the main image of the video, which should be displaying on the left. If you don't have this displaying, don't worry because you're going to get the video and you can take still framed shots of your video when editing. In this example, I'm going to select save video and download this to my device right now. There is a promotional advertisement. I'm just going to close that. Now you can see the video right here and it should be downloaded in just a moment. Alternatively, if your video doesn't download automatically, you can always click to download here. This is the video that I'm going to use and you can save this video by pressing those three dots and you can select download. Now this video has been successfully downloaded to my device and I can edit this, but we're going to go into ChatGPT because we're going to add a caption to make this video different. And I'm also going to add some music later on. So let's go into ChatGPT. I'm going to explain what this video is and ask ChatGPT to create a caption for me. Now the video is of a cat with a very wide circular mouth. And when it yawns, it looks like Kirby. If you know Kirby, the character, this cat looks like Kirby. So we're going to create a caption based on that information. So let's see what ChatGPT creates here. And as you can see, we have some quite funny and very relevant, which is very important, captions that we can include in our video. Remember, YouTube Shorts has a different policy on using music. So you may be able to use popular songs without getting penalized and without having your video restricted to certain countries. There are some songs that you can use that might be restricted to certain countries, but there are a lot of songs that you can still use in your YouTube Shorts and earn through monetization without having any issues when using that song. You currently have more rights using very popular songs in YouTube Shorts than you do when uploading a long form video content. So we could use something that makes the caption even more relevant, for example, the soundtrack to a Kirby game. But when using Kirby game music, the rights may be very different because that's a different type of popular music, a different genre of music. Keep that in mind when you're selecting music to use in your video. If you're unsure of the character Kirby, just for reference, this is Kirby when Kirby has its mouth open. And you can see it's very circular and very wide. And Kirby has the ability to swallow anything that's in its path. With its bottomless stomach, it can consume all. And that's what I'm comparing this cat to when the cat yawns. What's brilliant about this is you're actually targeting more than one audience type. Although Kirby might not be well known, cats are very cute and it can cross over different types of audiences from the gaming industry and then of course from animal lovers. What's brilliant is you don't need to use a video editor to get your video done. You can go into Canva, which now has the capability of video editing. And from the main Canva options, you can see video is one of the options here. Select see all and you will be able to find mobile video at 1080 1920 pixels. This is a vertical style video that you can use right now. So let's open this template to get started. Canva also gives you the ability to remove audio from videos. So as you can see, I've now added the video to Canva. I'm going to select the video. And from this point, you can see that you can select audio. If I tap on audio, I can completely mute the audio 
Alternatively, you can always extract, but here we're going to mute it entirely. So this video is now muted. We can add our own music to the video. You can also add images on top of the video to add more context. Right here, I've added an image of Kirby, the character. I'm going to select the three dots, scroll down and select show timing. And here you can drag the edges of the element that appears in your video so that you can get it to appear when you want it to appear. Captions, of course, can now be added. So rather than use an editing platform, you can use Canva. And remember, you can use Canva for free. So you can sign up for a free Canva account right now. And everything that you're doing here, you can do entirely free. I'm going to go to the text and I'm going to add a caption that we've just created using ChatGPT. So I'm just going to simply either go through the text templates that are available or alternatively, I'm just going to add a header from scratch, find the right font, and I'm also going to add a background to it. So you can edit your headers as well, including changing the font and adding different effects. If I select effects, you can see that I can add a background to it. This will give a background to the text that would appear as a caption on screen and I can time it to appear where I want it to appear in the video. You can also move it around on screen, but do remember that YouTube Shorts will have a title that appears in this lower half of your video. So in some cases, when you're viewing YouTube Shorts, you will actually see the title appear right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our ChatGPT conversation and I'm going to take one of the captions from this conversation, Kirby called, he wants his mouth back is the caption we're going to use. And that's also going to be the title of the video. Maybe I could change the title of the video. It doesn't need to match the caption. It can be funny cat with a Kirby sized mouth for an example as to what the video can be. So let's have a look at what we have so far. Kirby called, he wants his mouth back. And that's ready to add some music. And of course we've transformed it with some captions and an image that appears throughout the entire video. Once you're ready to download, if you added music or not, Select share, download, and then you can pick your video quality. And this one we're going to leave it at 1080p and hit download that MP4 video file. Once that's downloaded, I'm going to add some music to it later on when uploading to YouTube. Right here is where we're going to put our video file to upload. Here you can see we've started the upload flow. Is it made for kids? Not really. So something that's made for kids would be directed towards a child audience. This could be for anybody as opposed to just children. So it won't just appeal to just children. I've given the video a title. Is it altered by AI? No, it's not. I'm going to allow automatic captions and places. It's not gaming. Instead, we're going to go for pets and animals. Do keep in mind, if you want to add some music to your short later on, you do need to use the YouTube application so that you have the YouTube shorts feature where you can add popular music in the upload flow. If you don't use that application, you need to add your music beforehand. You also have the audio library on YouTube. This audio library has a lot of music that you can use copyright free right now for your videos. And you can check the license type just in case you need to provide any attribution, which is credit in the description. This YouTube license right here is the usual YouTube audio library license, but you can filter and look for something called Creative Commons attribution required right here. And you can see a different license type with that CC icon displaying. So in this case, we're just going to simply drag the music into Canva and then you can drag it into the timeline below. Make sure that you name your video before you export it so that you can upload straight away with the title ready for you. So we're going to call it cute cat giant mouth. If you wanted to include Kirby in that title, you could and maybe get some gamers to watch your video as well. But remember, Kirby is a very niche character to a specific console and not everybody might know this very yet popular cartoon game character. So instead, we've gone for the animal lovers and those that are curious about what this video is about. Cute cat, giant mouth. Very simple, short and ready to get some views. It's 12 seconds long, YouTube short format, select share and then select download and we are ready to upload it to YouTube. I've just slightly changed the title by adding the word has 
so it provides more context to what the video is about. Cute cat giant mouth might be a little bit confusing, so we've added the word has. Now we're just going to select our categories like we did beforehand with the previous version of the video, but this time we've got music that is completely copyright free. It is an auto by AI. I'm going to allow everything else as it is. Maybe add a recording date, but for the video language, it's not really relevant. So we're going to leave it open for now. Captions none then that all important category here we're going to go for pets and animals now that we're happy with everything that we currently have select next not going to add a related video it is a youtube short and therefore that will go into the shorts feed and from here i'm just going to make it public remember that anyone can see public videos to keep yourself and our community safe, avoid sharing personal info and follow our community guidelines. Got it. Making it public. And now we're going to publish this. It's 13 seconds long, a brilliant video, provides a lot of context and it's brilliant for the niche that we're aiming at, which is animals, cute animals and pets. We're going to copy the process that we've just done, but with a new video that has captions. As you can see in this video, there are captions that appear. You need to follow the same process, except you're going to take a screenshot of the captions that you want to cover up later on, because we want to know what these captions actually say. Now, this is quite an odd font and you can see that it doesn't look like a usual font. So it might be really hard for the method to read what this says in this example. But we do have what seems to be a username that also appears in the top right hand corner of the video. When you've pasted your video link into the downloader, you will see that you can skim through the video or play through the video and you can hit pause so rather than use a video editor to find a screenshot we're going to press print screen on the keyboard right now if you have a us or uk layout and you're on google chrome this will give you the ability to print screen or take screenshots of anything that appears on screen so right here i'm just going to go around the video and i'm just going to let go and that has now copied that image to my clipboard and I can paste this wherever I like. So we're going to go to image to text dot info. And this website is where we're going to now drag our link, our image into this right here. But first you need to paste your image. So go to your desktop, paste your image, and it will appear for you to then drag into this box. So of course you were going to need your image. Now it's slightly a rectangular vertical image that we've taken from a vertical video that is appearing on a website. So if we go back to Canva and we go to file and then we create a new or even from here, actually, if we were to paste right here on our video, this is the image that we've just taken a screenshot of now appearing on Canva. I'm just going to drag the edges and fill it up with as much as the captions appearing as possible and making sure you're getting that vertical size as best as can be. So it's better to actually take a screenshot that doesn't have the white background of the website. As you can see, we now have the image on Canva. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the share button and in the download options, instead of MP4, we're going to go for PNG. And I'm also going to make sure I've named the file accordingly. So now I'm just going to say cat caption press share download and then the file type you want to select png download with the same settings or resolution as your video so now we have the image with the captions that we are then going to use on image to text what we're then going to do on image to text is we're going to select image translator this is where we're going to drag the image that we've just downloaded from Canva. Then select translate. So you can see that it's attempted to translate exactly what's said here, but the font was quite difficult to recognize. The caption up above is too small for this website to recognize, but this is a way that you can attempt to translate any text or captions that appear in the video that you're using. Alternatively, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, it's just optional for you to have more context as to what is causing the video to get views over on Zhao Hang Show. Now, the reason why I've shown you this is this will help you when you're using the video on YouTube, as you will have more context and more information as to why the video is getting views originally.
And here we've repeated the process, except we've used the captions to cover up what was originally on screen, so that text does not appear. I'm now going to drag this new MP3 that I've downloaded from the YouTube audio library. The audio that I want to use is now available, but I'm going to make the audio a little bit quieter as I want the little squeal by the kitten to be heard. So let's just place the audio first. I need to do that again. Place properly. I'm just going to place it in. I'm going to select it. And now I can change the volume. I can also trim the end of it. And I know that my captions appear at the time just before the squeal. So there we go. Let's play this through to see how it looks. Absolutely perfect. So I'm going to name the video Cute Kitten Oscar Award Winning Performance or Deserves an Oscar. Brilliant. Now let's select the share option, download, making sure you have the right format type, MP4 video, and download this ready. And that MP4 will now be available for me to upload to YouTube Shorts, very quickly transforming it, giving it captions with emojis, and providing context with a new caption that we can then provide or get from ChatGPT, or if you have some original ideas, you can use that instead. I went for Toy Knife versus Cute Kitten. You would then go for the usual upload flow, select your files, which I'm going to do right now, making sure we have the right video. Absolutely brilliant. This time I'm going to try a slightly different category for the YouTube category. And instead of pets and animals, we're going to go for entertainment. And the video is now ready. Let's publish. And you can share your link with friends, family or fans using the share link options that are available. And this is how to copy videos from Chinese apps and re-upload them to YouTube Shorts so that you can earn $10,000 monthly. If you've enjoyed this video right here on Mr. Money, don't forget to give us that all important thumbs up. Like this video, press the like button and subscribe for more right here on Mr. Money. Thank you for watching.